Hey everybody, welcome to Open My Accident. I'm Nick. And I'm Matt. And I think we found a bargain on a gaming PC. So Nick's been in the market for a gaming PC. He's been uh, currently playing on a Steam Deck and doing your internet browsing on a Chromebook? A very outdated Chromebook that I got on a Black Friday sale, so... <laughs> Yeah, I was in I was in need of something with a little more power. Uh, I just I I'm very out of touch when it comes to PC gaming, so I didn't know what kind of parts or pieces I was looking for. I was looking for more of a pre-made setup, and I think that's where this bargain came in is because you found almost the perfect pre-made setup of of my price range. So sure, um, I I kind of stumbled upon this deal. I was actually just doing some regular shopping at our local Sam's Club, and happened to be in the electronics department. And notice that this uh, PC gaming setup, it's uh, Cyber Power PC's uh, pre-made uh, gaming setup. And it's normally a little over $1,000. Um, if you look on the website currently as of right now, it's like $1,049 for this exact same thing. And it shows sold out. That's um, a little over my price range. I was looking for more of like the $700 range for my first gaming PC. Right. Um, but this one was clearance down in the store to $659. Um, so to kind of get into the, the specs as best we can, we're not tech savvy when it comes to PCs. <laughs> we are all. we are console gamers at heart. So this is something that's totally new to us. Um, I did just recently buy myself a gaming PC that's of similar build from the same manufacturer. Um, and I'm still learning the ins and outs of that, uh, mainly you know using it for like our editing of these videos, um, but not really diving quite yet into the gaming aspect of it, which I do plan to do. But um, so this uh, particular rig here that we picked up at Sam's, it was the um, the last unit they had. It was the display unit. I mean, it bare bones. It came with the unit itself. It came with the mouse that was actually inside the case, the power cable that was attached to it. And then it looks like these are like the Wi-Fi antennas that would attach to the back. Um, but it's supposed to come with a keyboard, paperwork, a box, probably some other stuff too. None of that was included because it was the display unit. So I was a little skeptical at first, but I talked to a sales associate. He reassured me that if there was problems with it, just bring it back, full refund, talk to the store manager, same thing. Bring it back if there's any issue whatsoever. Um, we've fired it up. We've updated it. We've installed some games and it seems to be running flawlessly. Yep. So seems to be running a lot more faster than my Steam Deck ever did. So <laughs> all right. Very excited uh, for that. There was a game called Tarkov that you had purchased when you uh, got your Steam Deck, and it wasn't necessarily compatible. And yeah. we've already gotten to test that out, and it seems like it's going to run it pretty fantastic. Yeah, thanks to the the Linux processor of or the operating system of the Steam Deck, it was a nightmare trying to play Escape from Tarkov or any kind of Rockstar game, anything that used a non-Steam boot uh, right. launcher. Um, and so now I can actually uh, download all those with no problems at all. <laughs> so, and this is actually Windows based. It's uh, got Windows 11 Home installed on it. It runs on an Intel i7, I think uh, 13700. Again, we're not tech savvy when it comes to PC stuff. So this is all new to us. So you can be critical in the comments, but we're learning uh, as we go. The big selling point, at least what I understood, was the graphics card in this thing. It had an NVIDIA. GeForce RTX 4060, which, you know, you look that up by itself and that averages like a brand new price, like 300 bucks. So there's half the money right there. And then you got to have, you know, the motherboard, the RAM right. and everything else. And then somebody put it together and then licensing the windows. I'm like at 659 bucks, this is a bargain. And it's still in very nice shape, you know, no scratches or anything like that, even though it was the display models. So. Right. So I think, you know, it being the display model, they literally had it plugged in with just the power cable. There was no HDMI, there was no monitor, there was no keyboard or mouse set up to it. I think they literally had it on display just to show the RGB colors to kind of lure in those kids, you know, because it does have RGB. Right. Um, it is liquid cooled. Uh, it also has uh, 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM. On one on, card. On one card. The nice thing is, is I have, like I said, a very similar setup that I purchased a couple months back and it uh, appears that it's the exact same RAM card. So our hope is maybe we can combine the RAM card from this PC with my PC 
So then we'd have 32 gigs on one of our PCs, and then we just have to purchase one set of DDR5 RAM cards for the other PC, and then we're both running at 32 gigs. Right. But again, we're learning as we go. So maybe so right now we don't need that, that, but that's something that down the line we probably that's on the horizon. Do, so, so um, but it seems like this PC is going to be fantastic for an entry point for Nick to get into gaming PC and be able to play those high-end games, Yes, as well as helping out with some of the editing because it is Windows-based and we use a Windows-based uh, editor for um, our editing of our videos. And uh, it'll just be helpful having both of us at the helm. Um, Most definitely. The nice thing too is this thing's got two USB 3.0s right on top, easy access. Uh, it's got I think six so more six on the back. Yep. Six more USBs on the back. It's HDMI out, of course. Um, one thing I do like about this compared to mine is you almost have to like unlock the uh, opening to access the internals Sorry, of it. Whereas this one, literally, it's just hinged and it just opens it's on a magnet. Door. You know, so it's a really nice case. Um, and like you said, I mean, for being a display unit, it really doesn't show. So maybe it wasn't on display for a long time. But I do recall every time I went into the local Sam's and seen this unit, it was never turned on. So really? my hope is it doesn't have a whole lot of hours of just sitting there cycling through the yeah. RGB colors. That's my theory, too, is when you said that they probably had it just plugged in with showing the lights, they probably had multiple similar units sitting next to each other, all just, you know, on showing, you know, this is what they look like. Yeah, and this is the display because different varies, making it you know, very models. Um, but I, I, I'm really hoping that this, uh, will be a good PC for Nick for years to come. Um, and it, it's got so much space for upgrades. Right. Um, like I said, it's got room to expand the, the Ram. There's more slots underneath the graphics card to add additional, uh, to it. And, it, I think it's going to be really exciting for us both to have a, a gaming PC, you know, and a PC capable of doing editing at a, a high level so yep. i'm is... uh, i'm very excited um it's it's definitely going to be some learning uh, of uh you know the upgrading process and stuff like that because i have literally no no knowledge on that but uh it'll be it'll be interesting learning on how to be a pc gamer <laughs> yeah so my suggestion to you is if you're a viewer out there and you're in the market looking for a pre-built gaming pc make sure you're checking your local markets uh you know maybe not in sam's club but even like walmart Best Buy, they always have, you know, stuff going on clearance um, and then their display units. I mean, yeah, I think we lucked out in getting a nice quality display unit at a really good price. And you guys be the judge. You tell us, is $659 for this unit a, a bargain? I, I think so. I mean, because I bought a similar build and it was well over $1,000. Um, now, like this one, it has a single terabyte of... Uh, SSD memory, whereas mine had two terabytes. And then right. I think mine has a 4060 Ti graphics card, whereas this is just a 4060. So there are some differences, but had I been able to find this unit at the time I was looking for one, you know, I would have definitely, I would have went with this one just because of the price point alone. Um, but what I'm getting at is I think there's deals out there and it's, you know, with Sam's Club and Walmart, the price is always going to depend on the store you visit. It's going to vary from manager to manager on how they discount their items. But ultimately, they had this one marked down from their original price of $499 off of MSRP. And then almost like, what, 300 and, or almost $400 difference from the online price. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the online, they were sold out even at that over $1,000 price point on this. So. I really strongly feel that this is a thousand dollar PC that we picked up for six hundred and fifty nine bucks. And you know, is it is this going to be an everyday fine deal at retail stores? No, but it's proof that they're out there because this never is a real ask. purchase by us. Always ask for open right. box deals, uh, display stuff. You know, and you never know what is what shape it's in or if you know if it's sure. worth it. But it's always it never hurts to ask. Well, and that's the thing too is like when you go to Sam's Club, like big ticket items like this, they've got those like little pool cards. Right. If you remember, like from like the Toys R Us days and stuff, yep. and they it showed there was none left. But I I seen it, I was like, man, well, there's the PC right there. There's okay. at least one. There's one. <laughs> so I talked to a sales floor associate and I said, hey man, are you completely sold out of this? Because that's a great price. And he says, well, no, we're not because they show having one in inventory. And he was pretty adamant that they had one in the box in the back somewhere, but they could not find it. 
He went and found his manager. Manager said, well, the one we have is the display unit. You can buy it, but it's the same price. And of course, I, me being me, I <laughs> haggled and looked and I said, hey, man, it's missing the box. It's missing the keyboard. Can't you do a little bit better than you know the, the clearance price? And they're like, no, since it's been clearance down, we can't go any lower on the price. But even at 659 bucks, I mean, we don't need the keyboard. You've got your own nope. keyboard from your Steam Deck setup. Yeah, because so. I've been using my Steam Deck as a home PC already. So I already have a gaming monitor, a keyboard, mouse, all that set up for that. So now I just got to plug into this and right, right. have a Do much better processing Basically power. reinstall all your games onto this, and then you're ready to rock and roll, and you can turn your Steam Deck back into what it really is intended for, and that's a, a mobile gaming a unit. A mobile <laughs> gaming unit, uh, you know, so when you're on the go, you have some games to play. Um, or maybe you'll find that it becomes a, kind of a paperweight and... Uh, dust magnet and maybe you can sell it to offset the cost of this or so, buy something to upgrade this you know? right right exactly because this thing is very easy to upgrade um even though it's a really good starting point uh, to get you into gaming pc so hell yeah hell yeah well you guys tell us in the comments what you think about this purchase uh, you know we'd love to hear back from you i think we did really well on it um and i'm excited uh for nick to actually have his own gaming rig so um and Check with, out yeah, yeah, with getting into gaming PC also, I'll need uh, some game uh, advice. So if you guys have any games for us to play on PC, right? let's hear Well, them. you got Tarkov going. <laughs> yeah, I got Tarkov already. Got, so. got Tarkov, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make sure you guys stick around for more content to come here on the YouTube channel. If you feel like checking it out, we've got episodes of the podcast that are out there over on Spotify and Apple or wherever you get your podcasts. But we appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more to come. Thanks.